Of the Mega Man projectile. So, really impressive stuff. Uh, sort of earning his, his spot mm -hmm. here in. Uh, I don't even know what round this is. Uh, but definitely, <laughs> uh, if Epic Gabriel and King Ark are meeting, especially after the great wins that they had, it looks like it's winner's quarters. So, a uh, very prestigious place to be yep. in this bracket. And wow. Uh, and I love that using the F smash to tech yeah. chase like that because had he tacked in, like, had he just tacked in place, that would have been you know just a bunch of delicious damage. Yeah, but and it, it even catches uh, no tech, which is really cool, mm -hmm. uh, in a way that some smash attacks really don't just because of the way the like, timing kind of works. I love that punish from King Oak. I would have expected a down it, actually. The, I think that's what he might have optimally would have liked to do. But regardless, King Oak has a good idea. And right now he is showing his expertise while fighting like Dill. Beautiful. Beautiful, like stall off stage wait for the down air and then he'd come back up when it's nice and safe. Yeah, also really impressive stuff. I love that metal blade into to back air. That was mm -hmm. really elegant, really, definitely very practiced. And it's always so interesting to me to see what players do when they get their opponent's item. Uh, Epic Gabriel seems to be using it very similarly to a Rob Gyro, so aid and the lead trap and off shade. But it is very yep. interesting because sometimes people will just kind of pick something up and not really know what to do with it. Uh, Epic Gabriel definitely doesn't seem to be having that same problem when he picks up Rob's, uh, or Mega Man's Metal Blade. That was an interesting recovery, but King Oak was just so ready to punish that low with the up tilt commitment. And honestly, when you get zero percent, it's it's you know it's really good to go for those kinds of things. He was in reactable distance. He had the right idea. Yeah, and like, what's the worst that could happen? Mm -hmm. Oh man, and clocks the roll you in. You cannot up jump. Air. You cannot jump. Do not jump out of that because otherwise you're going to be sent up into the vertical blast zone. It does not kill often, but when it does, it's like, it hurts. Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, that up there, it can definitely be one of the more stressful uh, things to get hit by in the game just because it's so hard to really tell what's going yeah. on just because you get shot up so quickly. Uh, but certainly, yeah, I've definitely heard that jumping is, is like the big thing that you don't want to do. Uh, Mm -hmm. Epic Gabriel's shield getting kind of small, and especially because Mega Man uh, has like a lot of things that will either hit you like directly in the chest or in the head. For a character as big as Rob, that's actually a, a very uh, precarious position to be yeah. in. And I love those dashes from um, King Oak and working out for them getting the up smash, but those dashes, they're just like meant to provoke a panicky option from Epic Gabe. And I believe with Mega Man's animation during the dashes, he would low profile any rising aerial that um, Epic Gabe could throw out of shield. So I just love like that. It's really, really risky play, but it's just like such a change in momentum and pacing. I love, do you see that Epic Gabriel actually timed his roll after the mistech to get around the crash bomber in a yep. really clever way? Nope, uh, that was really smart, just showing off, you know, like, really good situational awareness. He's trying to minimize the amount of damage that he takes, obviously. Yeah, no, definitely. And also, it, it can just be so dangerous if you get hit by, like, crash so bomber in a tech situation. This is so dangerous for King Oak. He burned his up -y and his double jump. That could have been maybe the stock had uh, Epic Gabe committed to some, a different option. And it just looks like King Oak really finding it difficult to just establish himself in center mm. stage on Epic Gabriel. When Epic Gabriel is just having like these really great options to really contest it, that up smash is going to take game one. Yep. Really impressive stuff from Gabe. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm just going to shorten it to Gabe. So something um, I've noticed already is that King Oak maybe is getting, like previously I noted how he's doing a great job of like dashing and provoking an out of shield option, but now he might have been one step ahead because you saw him land aggressively on Gabe's shield multiple times, and then he got punished for it with an up smash or some other option, so King Oak might just want to slow it down a little bit, um, not, not want to press that button on, on uh, Gabe's shield. Yeah, no, certainly. And they're actually going back to Battlefield, uh, which I, I find pretty interesting. Uh, and I love this song so much, so mm -hmm. I'm, I'm totally happy about it. Uh, but I, I love the confidence of, of being able to say, like, no, like, it wasn't the stage. I can do this here. Yeah. Uh, and, and definitely Oh, that my game. God. He almost landed the combo. You know the one. Will you die at zero, please? Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> You know what? That is such an amazing option to punish linear vertical recoveries like Rob's. Just like a, a Metal Blade angle downwards. I love yeah. that. No, it's really excellent. Very reminiscent of, of Mega Man 2, actually. Uh, <laughs> very common tactic. Uh, and King Ark really employing it against one of the best Smash Ultimate players uh, in, in the world right now, I think. Uh, Epic Gabriel really no slouch himself. Uh, but, I mean, even if you're that good, it can be really difficult to navigate a recovery like Rob's.
uh, just because of how linear we can be. Uh, and it definitely has some mix ups with like, the up air. He had the weed for the back hit, but unfortunately, he was just slightly mispositioned, and that is going to be the side B off the stage. The to classic. Take King Lion's first stock. And now, King Lion is going to be looking for a strong wow. commitment. That back hit is so quick, it is so disjointed. It's such an amazing move. Definitely one of the most slapped on moves. It's very, very difficult to punish. Yeah, especially no, certainly. between. And it also just, in a lot of situations, can cover both someone just falling normally and someone air dodging because yes, of just sir. how long it stays out, which is really something that, that's amazing in the move. Interesting that King Ark seemed to kind of look like he was going to go for like the, the forward air, but instead just backed off a little bit to see if he could get a commitment out of Epic Gabriel, but Epic Gabriel not fighting. That is going to be the throw off the stage. Game just committing to the upbeat to zoom all the way to King Ark. Now he was anticipating a high recovery. And thus, he wanted to maybe land a net an early kill with just a four-liter again, but perhaps a side beat. Though he is not going to be able to find it. Beautiful four-liter off the stage, but Rob being so heavy, not going to die to that quite yet. Trying to get the ledge to jump back here, but missing it. And because he hastily jumped off of ledge, he is going to be hit with Rob's back here. Yeah, unfortunate stuff, but I, I really like those options. King Ark definitely putting a lot of kill pressure on, which is what you definitely need to do in this matchup, because if you really let Rob establish himself, especially on new stuff, that's when you really start to get, like, maybe 50, 60% behind, just because you take that chip damage from Gyro, from there, so to speak. Yep. Uh, it can be really difficult to, uh, you know, recover from that. But it really looks like King Ark definitely very wise to Epic Gabriel's roles from the yes, corner. Yes, I was just about to note that myself. Um, Gabe, Epic Gabe, who just Gabe, um, he's a little bit hasty in trying to reassert central stage control, and you just see him want to go back. And yeah, I mean, like, that's a decent option half the time, but not when you're at kill percent against Mega Man. Yeah, no, it can definitely be a, a high risk option, and sometimes you just gotta go for it. But King Ark definitely seems to have a good awareness of when a Gabe is going for it, which is really important, especially in this matchup, where killing is just Ooh. so vital. And again, like, Gabe, like when he's really looking for those kills, he's just waiting for King Ark to overextend. Wow. Amazing stuff going through the Metal Blade to get the kill. Yeah. And really so, impressive stuff. So Gabe did a fantastic job of punishing King Ark's overextensions. He was just able to like really play it back, really play it defensively. Because if you look here in this finals, um, maybe not, not in this sequence. Oh yeah, that was a, that was a yeah, fantastic. Yeah, amazing read. Mm -hmm. He was really just, great stuff. I love also just that wave dash that King Ark does. Yeah, but if you look here, like, King Ark, a little bit too hasty to get back onto the stage. He yeah. had to drift back a little bit more than maybe he'd be able to make it with an air dodge. Yeah, and really impressive stuff, though, from King Ark. Definitely keeping it really close, uh, really competitive mm -hmm. with Epic Gabriel, uh, who obviously is up here for Let's Make Big Moves. Uh,